Let's continue uh, with our study of inequalities and graphing of inequalities today. Let's do uh, another one here. Uh, y is less than three halves x minus five halves. So uh, we can first determine, uh, this is at least this is the way that I like to do these. I like to determine what the boundary of the inequality is. And I can do that by making this into an equation and that will generate a straight line. This is a linear equation, so this is going to generate a straight line. And that straight line is going to be the boundary of my inequality. I'll have to figure out what side of the line the inequality is on, but I'll, I'll at least have the boundary of the inequality if I, if, I, uh, if I use an equation here, make this into an equation. Now, <clears throat> Last problem I did for you in our last lesson, I built a table uh, to do this. I think for this lesson, I'll just uh, graph the equation using the slope-intercept method uh, of graphing. So we know that we have our equation in the proper form, y equals mx plus b, where b is the y-intercept, and our slope, m, is the slope, and that's 3 over 2, and that's delta y over delta x. So I can go ahead and graph this. On some graph paper, I'll draw my coordinate system. And I'll let each of these little increments equal a half a unit so that 2 equals one whole unit. And I'll mark off the, uh, I'll mark off the, uh, the graph in that way. So this is going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4. This is x. This is our y. This is going to be 1. 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and a minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. So our y-intercept, we said, was the B term in our equation, which was a minus 5 halves. Well, a minus 5 halves is a minus 2 and 1 half. So if I mark on my y-axis a minus 2 and 1 half, that will bring me to this point here. So I know the point, and I also found my slope, m, to be equal to 3 halves. And then remember, this was the change in y over the change in x. So I'm going to change y3 for every two changes in x. And this can be, these are positive. So I'm going to go up here, three units. So each two is a unit, so this would be one, two, three, and over two, one, two. So that would be my first point. And I could continue and generate another point by going up three units. Here's one, two, three, and over two, one, two. This would be my second point. And I can draw a line connecting those points. And that's the boundary of my inequality. Now, um, Let's go back and look for a second at our inequality. Y is less than 3 halves x minus 5 halves. To be perfectly accurate here, 
I shouldn't have drawn this as a solid line. If I had y was less than or equal to 3 halves x minus 5 halves, that would be, I would draw a solid line because that would mean the values on this line are actually part of the inequality. But because y is less than this line, the values on the line itself are not part of the inequality. So the correct way to graph this, and I should have mentioned this during our last lesson, to show an inequality that's not equal, we use dashed lines. And that tells us that the actual values located along this line are not part of the inequality. That's a dashed line. It doesn't show up very well, does it, on the, on the uh, screen. But I'll try to clean it up a little bit. I don't know if this will work or not. But that's a dashed line. So <clears throat> we know the boundary of the inequality. We know that it, <clears throat> this line is not part of the inequality. We just need to find out what side of the line the inequality is on. So choose any point. And, you know, it's easy to choose 0, 0, because 0 is on one side of this line. So I'm going to choose 0, 0, make my x 0 and my y 0. So I'll have 0 is less than or equal to 3 halves 0. Oh, no, it's not less than or equal to. It's less than. I was looking at the wrong... It's less than 3 halves times 0 minus 5 halves. And if we multiply 3 halves times 0, we get 0, and we have 0 is less than a minus 5 halves. Is that a true statement? Is 0 less than a minus 5 halves? Well, no. Minus 5 halves, remember, is a minus 2 and 1 half, which is over here someplace, right? So <clears throat> 0 is not less than a minus 1 half. Minus 1 half is less than 0. So it's not on this side of the line. The graph has to be on this side of the line. The inequality is on this side of the line. Now let's, let's find, uh, just to prove that, let's take a point over here. And we could choose this as a point. This point is 3, 0, right? x is 3, and y is 0 on this point. So let's plug that into the inequality. And now it should be a true statement. We have y, which is 0, is less than 2 third or 3 halves, this is a 3 halves, x, which we said was 3, minus 5 halves, okay? Well, this would be 0 is less than 9 halves minus 5 halves. 9 halves minus 5 halves is 4 halves, which is 2, right? So is 0 less than 2? Yes, it is. So that means that this is in part of the inequality and that our, our projection of the inequality as the area to the right of this line is a correct projection. So we graph that inequality.